Welcome to the Vincent's University Shake Library. This video will give you tips on how to use the advanced search feature in our databases. So, you've watched our video searching databases and tried to find an article for your research, but you still haven't quite found what you need. That means it's time to use the advanced search. In this video, we'll be using the database Academic Search Complete as an example of how to use the advanced search. The search box on the homepage of any database performs keyword searches. It's a great place to start when you're just beginning your research. It works best with one or two word phrases, such as video games. If you try to use it when you have more complex research topics, for example, what effect does playing video games have on aggressive behavior in teenagers? It usually ends up one of two ways, way too many results or way too few. When what you're looking for is too complex for the keyword search box, that means it's time to use the advanced search. In most of the databases, the advanced search button is located below the search box. Now your screen has multiple boxes and options. All of these options may look overwhelming, but all you need to do is follow these four steps. Break down your concept, set your operators, know your search fields, and set your filters. As you can see, the advanced search has multiple search boxes, which leads us to step one, break down your concept. The first thing you need to do is write out the topic you're researching. What you're going to do is break it down into what are essentially the building blocks or main concepts of your topic. Separate out each individual idea, noun, and action, and make sure each concept is only one or two words. Once you've identified the main concepts, generate a list of search terms or keywords and key phrases under each concept. Then, you'll want to come up with alternate words for your search terms. Consider synonyms, related terms, broader terms, and more specific terms. This is where the thesaurus is your friend. You need these alternate words because sometimes the author of an article may use a different word than you to describe the same concept. If you don't use the same word as the author, you may miss out on finding a really useful article. For example, you may use the word teenagers and an author may use adolescents. Or instead of saying aggressive behavior, an author may say violent behavior. In our example, we have three concepts in our topic statement. Video games, aggressive behavior, and teenagers. You'll notice that we didn't include the word effect in our search terms, even though it's part of the topic. Terms like cause, effect, relationship, impact, purpose, and trends are largely ambiguous or vague, making them ineffective search terms. In general, overlook these kinds of abstract, nonspecific terms. Another good place to look for these alternative words and phrases is by clicking the Subjects tab on the Advanced Search page. In other databases, this option might be called the Thesaurus and be located in a menu at the top of the page. Using the Subjects options can be helpful because databases use a controlled vocabulary, which is a list of standardized subject headings used to categorize content. For example, remember how we mentioned that adolescents and teenagers might be used depending on the author? By using the subjects option, we know this database chose to categorize all articles on this topic under teenagers. Now let's put these terms into our search boxes. These words need to go in a specific order. The main concept goes first, and any concept terms with alternate phrases go last. All other search terms go in the middle in no particular order. As you can see, the database will give you suggested words as you start typing. Remember, in databases, spelling is important, so it could be a good idea to use one of these suggested options and take note of any alternate spellings of words. Our next step in our advanced search is set your operators. You'll notice that to the left of the search boxes are two drop-down boxes. The options provided here are called Boolean operators. The operators are the glue between your ideas. There are three options, and, or, and not. Use and to retrieve articles that mention both terms somewhere in the article. The use of and generally will retrieve fewer but more focused results. Use or between two terms to retrieve articles that mention either term. The use of or generally will retrieve a larger set of results. The or operator is useful when searching with terms that mean the same thing or convey the same idea. Use not to exclude terms. The use of not allows you to remove search results containing a specific term. The use of not 
generally will retrieve fewer but more relevant results. The operators for our search example are going to be AND, AND, OR. It's time for step three, know your search fields. Your search fields are the drop-down boxes to the right of the search boxes that are labeled all fields. Search fields are the specific parts of the articles you want the database to search. Now there are a lot of fields, but let's look at the first four that you're most likely to use. First is all text, sometimes called keyword. It searches all the text fields. The next is author, which will search for any words or names you list among the authors listed for an article. Then there's title, which searches for your words anywhere in the title of an article. The last field we'll look at is subject terms. Subject terms are the specific words used to describe what an article is about. Remember how we talked about controlled vocabulary and used the subjects tab to look up search terms for our research concept? If you chose a subject term from the subjects tab, then you definitely want to select subject terms as your search field. If choosing these options does not give you the results you are looking for, try a different option or switch back to all fields or all text. We've now reached the last step of our advanced search. Set your filters. All databases allow you to filter or limit your search in a wide variety of ways, such as selecting full text and peer-reviewed, which we learned about in our Searching Databases video, as well as more options, such as publication date, publication or document type, and language. Filtering your search with these options allows you to eliminate the articles that you don't want in your results list. For example, we will filter our results to articles that are from the past five years and are in English. Now that we've completed our search, if you look below the search box at the top of the page, you can see that the database filters are available for you to select more or less options to help you find just what you're looking for. The search that we have shown in this video is a practiced and perfect example. A lot of times during your research, you may have to try your search many different ways using different search terms and filters. Don't be discouraged or panic. Research takes time and Shake Library is here to help you find the resources you need. A great place to learn more about our databases and how to use them is our database help page, vinu.libguides.com slash shakelibrary slash database help, where you'll find guides and videos each database provider has created to help you use their resource. You can also visit our library research tutorial page, vinu.libguides.com slash library research where you can find more tips in the Searching a Database module, such as using quotation marks to search specific phrases, or using truncation to search all the variations of a word. And remember, if you're having trouble, you can call, text, chat online, email, or visit Shake Library. We're here to help. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you soon at Shake Library.